Trucker Television is brought to you by JD Factors, charting a path to growth. Forbes Hewlett Transport, don't follow, join. Diesel Spec, engine tuning experts. Welcome to Trucker Television, the best of the trucking world. This week on Trucker Television, more trucks at RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. Rig of the Week, M&M 1968 GMC Cracker Box. Truck pulls at Truck and Roll Anchor. But first, Sulfuric Acid Hazmat with Laidlaw Tank LP. We're at the terminal in Cardinal right now. I'm just getting my truck all washed up because we like to look good going down the road. This stuff comes out of Valley Field, Quebec, but I'm heading down to New York State with this load. But I've been pulling acid probably since I was, I'd say, 27. So I've been doing it off and on for quite a long time. I just like that you don't have a boss over your shoulder every minute of the day. I got into trucking back in uh, 1999, and I've been with it ever since. We uh, mostly just load out of Valley Field, Quebec, out in North Falco, and from there, I've traveled down to New Brunswick, northern New Brunswick. I've traveled uh, a lot into Quebec. We do the odd drop in Ontario here, and I'll soon be uh, heading south of the border. We do a lot of food grade, Glucose, fructose, deliver to a lot of the breweries. Paper mills, the, we do dry bulk starch to there. Uh, Inver to to um, bakeries. Our newest contract is Norfalco, sulfuric acid, which we base out of Valleyfield. This is a dedicated acid trailer. The few features about this trailer, uh, this is solid stainless 316 stainless steel. It's uh, more acid resistant. You might notice, compared to other trailers, this is a very skinny barrel. And uh, it's, it's skinny like that because uh, acid is 15.3 pounds per gallon. So we try to restrict its movement inside the barrel. So that's why most acid trailers are skinny like that. I think the capacity is about 4,200 gallons, which is almost half of what a normal for hire tanker operates at. Acid doesn't freeze, that's why it's not insulated. At least at this percentage, this concentration. We do haul some that's a different concentration which might freeze. So we do have a few that are insulated, but acid doesn't really freeze, that's why this trailer is not insulated. This is a typical connection for an acid trailer. We bolt our hoses on because we don't use the quick connect because that might come off. We actually bolt the hose on and 90% uh, of our customers have this connection at their storage tank. We do have 10% where they have a quick connect. We carry two hoses, one, one with strictly with this end and one with a quick connect for those 10% that don't have that. So we'll, we'll adapt to whatever the customer wants. But that's unique to an acid trailer. This is the, the connection where we pump air into the trailer. It's hard piped up to the top. I have a, a shaft-driven compressor under here, which ought, uh, the truck's got to be running, but it'll, it turns a drive shaft, it turns a compressor, and I'll start pumping air into this trailer. So I'll get enough pressure on, then I open up the valves and the air pushes the liquid out. So th this is where it all connects up. So we would just flow it from there up to the, into the trailer. Colin is married, has kids and a grandbaby, and he lives in Cornwall. He ha drives one of our bunk trucks, and he's been with Laidlaw, well, since we got the contract from Norfalco for the acid board. He gets the job done. He does. He's, he's very uh, consistent. He always makes sure the job is safe and properly done, and he's popular with customers. He does a good job. He's a good driver. I do all the administration work here. 
I prep all the payroll paperwork and the billing paperwork for the head office in uh, Woodstock and I also do some assistant dispatching with Tim. I grew up in the industry, I've spent numerous summers driving with dad around. Always remember the drivers can't see you as much as you can see them. Growing up in the truck, you realize you have a different perspective and I think that's something that everybody should experience at some point in their life, being in the passenger seat of a truck, to see what they can and can't see. And I think that's valuable knowledge for everybody on the roads. Clean truck and in a sunny day, so life is good. After the break, truck pull at Truck and Roll Anchor. Diesel spec. Tuning for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call diesel spec? New Line Spray Suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of New Line fenders and be on national TV. New Line at truckertelevision.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Now hiring company drivers, women and men. Late model, all Peterbilt fleet. Dependable runs, great pay and benefits. Locomote Systems, transportation specialists. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. Every type of cool car, all the car clubs. Artistry and iron motorcycles. Who has Canada's coolest big rig? The Trucker Television Show and Shine. Swap meet, farm equipment, boats. Be on Trucker Television at RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. 12 gauge customs, award winning trucks, big rig chrome and accessories. Shop online or call 12 gauge customs. Aidlock Carriers Tank is seeking liquid tank owner operators. Competitive fuel surcharge program. Base plates, border crossings, and tolls paid. Our people and equipment set us apart. Ontario Truck Driving School. Your path to success. Training for your future. Thousands of jobs. Ontario Truck Driving School. Closed captioning by, cool down after a hot ride. One, two, or three scoops. My sons wanted to come and just go for a ride, like to show the truck off. I'm, pr I'm pretty proud of it and so was my father. When I was a kid, my uncle would, uh, would take, take me on rides uh, on summer vacation or uh, we held a lot of Christmas trees in the, the winter uh, before Christmas. So I, I took a lot of rides with my uncles and uh, my mother was the dispatcher and everything. So. Uh, we were born in trucking, so that, that's why I'm, I'm doing it uh, now. It's the place to be. Uh, it's the best show in Quebec, and I've done a few shows in the U.S. Uh, over the year, and uh, I, I think it's the place to be. Uh, it's family-oriented or, and a lot for the kids, and it's for a good, a good cause. And uh, Menik, the guy who does the show, is a pretty good guy, so... Uh, you need to come uh, come over and uh, spend a little money for a good cause. We live about 45 miles west of here, and uh, it's my second annual here at Bedford. And actually, this uh, this show here used to be held in uh, in the town of where I'm from, out of Huntington. 
it's uh, for a good cause for the children and uh, I know uh, when it used to be I think in St. Blair I knew one of the gentlemen who had a, a child that was uh, involved in the show so it's, uh, it's always kept with me. used to drive a truck for uh, 22 years. I drove coast to coast a bit, mostly in the eastern seaboard. Quit driving in 2003, another uh, passion in life, I guess you could call it. In 1981, when I started to drive, there was a few conventionals around. Uh, mainly there were cab overs, and uh, hey, that's what we started with. And uh, we, I guess, knew no better. And uh, But still today, I, I still love driving the cab over. They're uh, great in traffic. and. Uh, for visibility and that, but uh, fortunately you now everything's got to uh, conventionals and uh, the sloped hoods models. February uh, of 2013, I purchased this 1980 Kenworth in the state of Oklahoma. Bought it, drove it home, and uh, has a 3408 Caterpillar motor, a rare motor with the engine with the brake saver, 15 overdrive, uh, 256 inch wheelbase. I just do show and shines with it. Uh, Nice truck to drive, uh, get a lot of compliments on it. But the band on stage just brought it home. It's a 1983 WNI&B model, short hood. My, my dad used to be a broker for Forte, so he ran the east, uh, eastern seaboard all his life, 43 years. I bought the truck from him in 98, and my dad passed away in 2002. My dad was a... Uh, was a trucker's trucker. He's the guy that left on Sunday night. His shoes were polished, and his uh, truck was always clean. And that's why. That's why it's like this today. It's a 350 with a 13 speed. Uh, it's got a new way suspension. We stretched the frame 40 inches, and we repainted it, polished it up pretty good. Polar Bear would have been pretty proud to see it like this. Miss him every day. Uh, I'm the owner of that uh, Peterbilt 2005. It's got uh, 2 million kilometers on it. It's got a Cummins engine on it. It's a uh, Viper red in color. It's got a 280 wheelbase. And I'm the owner for the last two years. I bought the truck from a friend, Yannick, Yannick Thibault. And uh, I'm just trying to keep it up. The, the Yannick did all the custom work on the truck. So I'm just trying to keep up with y the Yannick's work. I'm based out of uh, Marbleton, Quebec. It's about an hour from here. I was born and raised there. It's not a job, it's a passion. It's a passion. I don't do it because I make a lot of money. I do it because I love it and I like my truck and I like, I like driving down the road. We'll keep it cool, we'll keep it clean and keep the family tradition uh, rolling around. Rig of the Week and more trucks at RPM Havlock, the show that has it all. Herb Transport, good people, good living. Now hiring company drivers, owner operators, and technicians. Employer of choice, call to find out why. Herb Transport, another cool move. Advanced Welding Techniques, training for success. Come see our new virtual training lab at advancedwelding.ca. 
Time to trick out your big rig? Check out ZZ Chrome's huge inventory of high-end chrome and stainless accessories. Bumpers, visors, pipes, LED lighting, and more. Plus custom fabrication and installation. Find us online at zzchrome.com. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. Every type of cool car, all the car clubs, artistry and iron motorcycles. Who has Canada's coolest big rig? The Trucker Television Show and Shine. Swap meet, farm equipment, boats. Be on Trucker Television at RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. Diesel spec. Tuning for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call diesel spec? Not all V-twins are the same, but it only takes one oil brand to keep them running smooth and strong. Lucas, no matter the size, shape, attitude, or how you ride it, Lucas Motor Oils are specially blended with Lucas technology to improve performance and life of your V-Twin. At Lucas, what you put in your V-Twin keeps what you put on it moving forward. Lucas Oil, available at quality motorcycle retailers. My name is Amy Taylor from Kentville, Nova Scotia. I took first place in the Digby Truck Bobtail Races. So it was side-by-side -side race in downtown Digby, right, right on the main street where they hold all kinds of different events. It's a 1968 GMC Cracker Box with a 671 Detroit in it, and it's loud. Not comfortable to drive, it's really rough, and uh, you bounce around a lot. You don't want to armor all the seats. Kyle Busch would be my father's favorite NASCAR driver. So he put the Kyle Busch on that, and then I took it out about a year ago and started driving it. And I can drive it really well, so I kind of took it over. And one day it all was gone. We take the truck out for birthday parties and proms and do all kinds of little truck shows around where we're from. My father has a big passion for it too and collects all of his trucks. Just having fun with it, that's all. My father drove truck and, you know, it, it, trucks have been in our, our lives for forever. I collect uh, antique 18-wheelers. Uh, I got a bunch of them all restored home. And they're just, you know, I'm just a collector, I guess you what you call it. This is uh, a 1975 W900A model, V12 Detroit. Uh, I get pretty well all restored here now. It, uh, it works good. It's a 2001 Kenworth W900L. It's a one-owner truck. A couple teamed it back and forth to California. Pretty much, a from my understanding, pretty much a steady, dedicated run. It's got four million kilometers on it. Um, when I bought it, the thing was beautiful. 
I didn't need to go to this extent that I did, um, but it wasn't mine. I, so I turned it into mine and to it was like, white my and taste. Red. It was beautiful looking truck with a beige interior. Um, <laughs> and when I made the deal with the with the couple, that I wasn't going to flip it, wasn't going to sell it to right away or do anything. I was going to build it, and we just built her up. Oh, I'm going to take it on down the street. I don't know where to start. Between the grill, our skirts, there's probably 150 lights on the truck that you don't, you don't really see until tonight. Most of them are hidden, because every light on that truck's gotta work. If you go to, through the scales or whatever else. So if you can't see them and they don't work, I can switch and you can shut them all off. Just run your basic, what you need. The fenders, made by class eight. Um, I've had a truck sponsored me for some lights. They're, they're an awesome set of lights. Uh, I'm just trying to the fuel tanks and the air breathers and all that, they're all original. All the battery boxes are original from this truck. They've been just polished. We, with our, with our polish. Yeah, California Customs. Back. They've been brought back. Last weekend, um, at uh, Pipes, and, Pipes Power. and Power in Orono, I uh, took People's Choice, which is a big honor. That's not a judge walking around, maybe he doesn't like red, maybe he doesn't like green and for, for a color. That's the people walking around, filling out the ballot, put it in the box. And that was, uh, I'm pretty proud of it. I'm still a truck driver. I've got to, you know, put my hours in there just like everybody else. You know, you try to find that free time to work on the convoy and we've got a great team of supporters, volunteers and committee members. Hey, you truckers out there, get your pink on this year with Trucking for a Cure and bring the family and let's have a great time. Take it on down the street. Oh, I'm gonna take it on down the street. Oh, After the break, more from RPM. Spady Transport, now hiring owner operators. Join today and work for the very best. Now hiring owner-operators, Spady Transport. 12-gauge customs, award-winning trucks, big rig chrome and accessories. Shop online or call 12-gauge customs. Laidlaw Carriers Tank, Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner-operators company drivers also wanted. Laidlaw Carriers Tank. Our people and our equipment set us apart. New Line Spray Suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of New Line fenders and be on national TV. New Line at truckertelevision.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Biker TV, the best of Canadian motorcycling. Bikes, babes, and rock and roll. Biker TV. Now hiring company drivers. Women and men. Late model, all Peterbilt fleet. Dependable runs, great pay and benefits. Locomote Systems, transportation specialists. Diesel spec. Tuning for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call diesel spec? I got into it because my dad was in it and ever since I was a little kid I always went with him every time uh, I could and uh, my late teens early 20s I was just out working and I wasn't much in a truck at that point and he said to me uh, why don't you give it a try get your own truck and uh, that was in 1985 I was 21 years old ironically the first truck I had was a blue western star and uh, yeah that's how it all got started 
It's a 2011 Western Star. I just bought it last year. It was brand new, although it was two years old. 500 Cummins, 18 speed. Trailer is a uh, 2013 Great Dane, 53 foot polished stainless. I painted it to match the truck. It's got dump valves in the rear axles. That front axle is a lift axle for when I'm hauling the flowers. They're pretty light loads. A few doodads here and there, and uh, try to keep it shiny. This truck here was uh, the first of the truck I had when my dad died. It was the last truck my dad had. It was a 58 GM. So we, it was in the fence corner. We grew up with a brush around it, of course. Then you kind of realize we should restore it, so we did. It's a GM with a 283 in it. Yeah, that's uh, they were a, they were a good motor at that time. They were very uh, at that time a very fast motor. But uh, yeah, that's what's in it. And we have uh, quarries. Uh, in this area, you know, so Havelock's a big area for us, you know, local, a lot of our employees come from the Havelock, Norwood area. My dad started a uh, business uh, in 1979. One truck drove it himself and built a big business and sold it, and then we started another small business together. A fellow approached me one day and he said, I have a truck that I think that you might like and uh, it's really rough, but uh, my wife wants me to haul it to the scrapyard. Are you interested? It looks like your Lone Star 2010. They're very similar. It might be the, you know, back in the day. And I said, well, okay. So it was just a dream I had and thought, well, you know, I can build this truck, so I'm going to, and I did. Well, it has a Cummins B-Series motor of a 99 Dodge. So it's 250 horse, so you could use it as a daily driver and I just have a regular, just a five-speed transmission. And I just, it's more of a parade vehicle than anything, right? Yeah. But you could hook onto it and tow something, I mean, if you want to. It's set up, ready to go. We have some other ones too. A few Kenworths and a lot of truck and pop, a handful of dump trailers, lots of live bottoms. We're able to service all our customers and with whatever they need. It's our hometown, right? Our office is actually just around the corner. So we've got Quite a few pony pups over there at the yard that were still working yesterday, so they couldn't make it. But it's a 2012 International Pro Star. It's got a live bottom trailer on it. The trailer's three years old, and we just polished her up. It's got a Max Force, 16 liter in it. We have a few of everything. We got a few internationals. We got the Volvo over there. In our fleet, we're looking for most of them 2005 or newer. Now we do have this one here, which has an older style look to it. The other ones you'll see that kind of got the newer looks to them. Everybody has a, an age in their fleet that they want to go to. They don't want to go over that. We're kind of that way, but this is we have a few that are a little bit older ones that are done the retro look, and we like those too. They're good for shows like this, right? Want fancy new fenders? Show off your truck on national TV. Email us a picture of your truck and we'll enter you into the second annual New Line Fender Contest. We all take pride in our rides. Send truck or television a picture of your truck, you can win a set of fenders just like this. Next week on Trucker Television. Rig of the Week, Motors Cool 1997 Freightliner. The Challenger Motor Freight Trucker Olympics. Truck pull at Truck and Roll Encore. And Sulfuric Acid Hazmat with Blake Law Tank LP. Trucker Television is brought to you by Chrome for Kids Truck Show and Shine, supporting Children's Hospital. Bryson Insurance, your partner in success for family and business. Be on Trucker Television at Truck and Roll on Curve.